This tutorial explains how to assign a unique ID for each group in a data frame using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And we can click on this data frame to see the structure of our data. And as you can see, our data contains nine rows and two columns, whereby the first column contains characters. And based on these characters, I want to assign numeric ID values for each row of our data. So we can do that as you can see in lines six and seven of the code. And in these lines of code, I'm using the transform function, the snumeric function and the factor function. So if you run lines six and seven of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing, which is called data ID one. And if you click on this data set, you can see that we have created a new column in our data. And this column contains numeric values for each of our groups. So we have assigned the value one to the first group, the value two to the second group, and the value three to the third group. So in this first example, I have explained how to use base R to assign a unique ID column to a data frame. However, it's also possible to use the deep layer package for this task. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line nine of the code. And to use the functions of the deep layer package, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines nine and 10. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 10 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the deep layer package, such as group by and mutate. So if you run lines 12 to 14 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that another data set is appearing and we can click on this data set to open it in a new window. And as you can see, the output of this is exactly the same data set. However, this time we have used the deep layer package instead of base R. Another alternative that I want to show you is based on the data table package and we can install and load the data table package as you can see in lines 16 and 17 of the code. I have installed this package as well. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 17. And then in line 19, I'm going to duplicate our data set because I want to keep an original version of the data. So if you run this line of code, you can see that another data frame is appearing at the top right. And then I'm applying the set DT function to our data to create a unique ID column for each group. So if you run line 20 of the code, our data set is updated and you can see that by clicking on the data set and then you can see that once again, we have returned the same output, but this time we have used the functions of the data table package. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.